it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing how I gave our living room a complete makeover just by adding some detail trim, wall sconces, some fresh paint, and a few new decor pieces. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos and let's get into it. I started by taking measurements of the two walls that I plan to do the detail trim on. I used SketchUp to lay out each of the boxes so that I could get a better idea of scale and what they'll look like. SketchUp is a great tool to use for this, otherwise you can just sketch it out on a piece of paper. Once you measure your boxes and the spacing, you'll want to get the individual measurements of each trim piece. Now that I have my measurements, I'm going to go ahead and cut everything down to size on my miter saw. I found this trim at Home Depot, I'll share the link to the trim and the other tools that I used in the description below. I mitered each of the corners at a 45 degree angle. Before we move on to the next step, I want to thank Boutique Rugs for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I picked out two beautiful rugs, one I have here in the living room and one in our bedroom. This is the Paloma Area Rug. It's 8 feet by 10 feet. I'll be sure to link both of the rugs in the description below. I love Boutique Rugs because they are high quality hand woven rugs. They have machine washable rugs and there's over 40,000 rugs to choose from that vary in style, color, size, and material. So you're guaranteed to find something that fits your space perfectly. Also, they don't just sell rugs. They have some beautiful home accents that you can find on their website as well. This here is the Angus area rug. It's 7 feet 10 inches by 10 feet. Another thing I love about boutique rugs is that they are budget friendly. And on top of that, you can even get 60% off using my code Stephanie60. So the Paloma rug was originally $1206, now $482 with the 60% discount. And the Angus rug was originally 352 now 141 with the 60 percent discount thanks again boutique rugs the paloma rug was the perfect final touch to my living room makeover you can find their information in the description below now it's time to install the trim. I'm using Liquid Nails Construction Adhesive, my 18 gauge brad nailer and one and a half inch brad nails to install the trim. I started by measuring the gap at the top and on the left side, I used my level to make a nice level line. Your measurement may be off a little bit, but that's because your walls and ceiling may not be perfectly level or square, so just be sure to trust your level. I added a few tiny beads of liquid nails to each of the trim pieces and then used a few one and a half inch brad nails to nail each trim piece in place.
I had to work around our TV mount and a few outlets. If you're able to completely move your outlet, that would be ideal. Or you can just work around it like I did. I used my multi-tool to make small cuts around the outlet. I just installed one trim piece at a time, making sure that each one was nice and level. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubt Be free with me Be free Be free
After all the trim pieces were installed, I used wood filler to fill in each of the corner joints and all the tiny nail holes. After the wood filler was dry and sanded down, I caulked all the seams. This isn't a necessary step, but it really helps to give your trim a seamless high-end look. After the cock was dry, I went and painted the entire living room. Our original white paint was a little too gray, so I used a softer white. This is the bare equivalent to Sherwin-Williams alabaster white. Now I'm installing these wall sconces. I'll link them in the description below. I wasn't able to hardwire them, so I just installed the back plate right into the wall, and then I'll use some battery-operated puck lights instead. I took a measurement where I wanted the center of my sconce to go. I drilled a few holes and then used plastic anchors to go into my plaster walls. Then I used a few screws to screw the metal plate right into the wall. The sconce then just gets screwed to the metal plate at the top and at the bottom. I set the puck light on top of the sconce. You can also hot glue them or use some 3M sticky pads. The puck lights come with this remote to control the brightness and you can also set a timer, super easy. Now it's time for the fun part, which is adding all the final details. You can find all the decor and furniture linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This living room makeover was quick and easy and all the small details ended up making such a big difference. Mm -hmm.